dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, cinco, seis siete, siete, ocho, nueve, I think diez. Yes. All right. So if we're going to start this, we have to go three, two, one. It would okay. be tres. Uno, dos, tres. Tres, tres dos, dos, uno. uno. Start. Yeah. Tres, dos, uno. <laughs> You would think, you know, we've been in Spain this year and we've been in Mexico this year that we would know how to speak the language. We suck. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. do. Oh, wow. Okay. I didn't know that I was supposed to be trying. Longtime realtor. I'm her husband, Mark, a television news anchor. Together we've started a podcast. And we want to hear from you. So let's, let's talk. talk. So let's get it right out in the open here. Um, a lot of people didn't mention that there's any seaweed at all. And here. I, asked, I asked. You asked many, many times. A Is lot. there seaweed? A lot. A lot of seaweed. <laughs> yeah. right. I almost told Mark. I'm going to go in the ocean and then I'm going to come out and just be covered in seaweed. And he was like, that would be so no, great. that would be good. Maybe we can still do that. I that think, would be our open, right? I think Mark Maybe should do not. that. Maybe not. Be like, be like Dudley Moore and, and uh, coming in 10 and you're coming down, you're coming out of the ocean. Oh, in 10, and yes. It's <laughs> covered yeah. in crap. Bo Derrick and... <laughs> no, that wasn't Demi Moore. That was Bo Derrick. Yeah, it was Bo Derrick. Yeah, I yeah. thought you said Demi Moore. No, I said it was uh, anyways, oh, Dudley, Dudley Moore. Oh, Dudley Moore. <laughs> Demi Moore, Dudley Moore, same testing, thing, right? Testing, testing, testing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay. We are in uh, Cancun in the Riviera Maya uh, portion of Cancun. Don't feel sorry for us. No, no. And, and today is the only day that we've had a lot of rain. It was so fun. Yeah, last night it was just the thunder and the lightning was so intense. We have a beautiful and, and room that overlooks the ocean and it just lit up all night long. So today it's uh, very humid. It's been very humid here every day. You think back home in Tulsa that it's uh, humid mm -hmm. and we can be 105, 107 degrees with mm -hmm. a little bit humidity above that. Right. Uh, here it's like 90 degrees, which you go, what's the deal with 90? But humidity is like 105 to 110. Yeah, yeah. So that's true. Yeah, yeah. But we're by water. We're by the the ocean here. The swim the, up bar has been great. <laughs> <laughs> or the pool. Or the pool. Yeah. yeah. But uh, we we came here on Tuesday and uh, came to this resort. What's this called? The Valentine. Valentine. Imperial. Yeah. Imperial. Yeah. So we, we, we came in on Tuesday and then immediately we left on Wednesday. Because I wanted to go and do something right away because in, in my, my trip is when we get to somewhere, we usually just enjoy and stay. And I thought if we get too settled, we wouldn't go. Right. Yeah, because sometimes we'll go out deep sea fishing and I always go the next day just right. so we're doing stuff. So we got a cab here from the Valentine, took about a 45 minute ride, cab ride to the, um, the ferry, to the port. Cancun, the city of Cancun mm -hmm. and the, the hotel district. Right. And then we got on the ferry and to a place called Isla Mujeres. Great. And it's only a 15, 20 minute ferry ride. clear water because I'm tired of seaweed. So just a short uh, ferry ride to this Isla Mujeres. And we've never been there before. We have a lot of friends who say you've got to go over there and check it out. It's very That's rustic, right. very um, 
small, only five miles long and like a half a mile wide. And uh, Islam Mujeres means um, uh, island of women. I didn't know that. Got to so, celebrate women. <laughs> always. Yeah. Okay. But uh, you don't rent a car there. It's uh, transportation is either a taxi, a scooter, or a golf cart. I would recommend the golf cart. Right. Unless you're going straight to a hotel to stay, then you just get a taxi and go straight to your right. hotel. We went right to a hotel we wanted to stay at called the Zoe Tree. A recommendation from some friends. Um, 100%. Yeah. Beautiful. And talk about Pristine Beach. We will be going back to that. So anyway, it only has 35 rooms. So it's very quaint, very personal. Mm -hmm. The beach is very short, but no seaweed at all Well, there. it's just perfect. The beach is perfect. You see your feet in it. You can see the fish going through. People are snorkeling. Um, they'll do anything for you. It's butler service. Then why didn't we stay there? Well, they were sold out for sold the time out. we wanted to be here. Right. But in my defense, I kind of wanted to be at a, at a bigger resort. I like to play. And so um, next time we will go and we'll stay there for like three or four days. Right. And then we'll come here to play. Right. So, I, you know, I mean, I think that that's kind of how Mexico is. You like to go, out so, and go dancing, you know, I want to swim a bar. Right. Well, so we did stay uh, on the island for a night. So we were searching for a hotel and we found one that's called the Mia, mm -hmm. which was fine. Mm -hmm. It wasn't nearly as quaint and as nice as the one we wanted to be But we at. still were had an oceanfront room and we could oh see gosh, it was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. But the, the water over there is totally different than in Cancun. It is this blue, Mark's colorblind by the way, so I had to remind him that it's beautiful. Blue, green, aqua, I mean crystal clear. It, it was beautiful. I can't yeah, tell you Yeah, we spend that. most of our time in the water. We usually hang out in one hotel and we never see the rest of Cancun and so this was our trip where we're gonna see a couple things. It's a sample place. A sample oh, place. a wave just almost knocked me over. <laughs> and then we saw the, the road mm -hmm. of yachts. Oh and my gosh. big boats. And what they do is they come and they just anchor right there mm -hmm. because on one side towards the beach you have a shallow like a foot deep for like 200 yards. It's a big reef. Right, and then on the other side is the reef. Yeah. yeah. Where they can either, on one side they can swim. Right. Or just sit in the water like we did. Right. Or they can do some snorkeling yeah. in the reef. So it's a perfect spot that for was that. Fun. Yeah. That was fun. And the, okay, so let's talk about the Mia a little bit. Give mm -hmm. a little review of that. Mm -hmm. The food, eh. yeah. The choices weren't that good. Number of restaurants. Um, the food wasn't the best. Well, and they had a buffet, and I'm not a fan of buffets yeah. anymore. It's outside buffet, hot, sweaty. Post-COVID, no. post right. no more buffets. But we are in Mexico. Okay. So we stayed there, and we did, oh, in the evening, we, um, we just walked down the beach. Yeah, so you could go there, and you could rent a little, little motel room, or a little apartment, or I know of my friend, um, Paula and Tammy, they went there for, gosh, three weeks? Three weeks they stayed on that island and they rented a little condo and just did whatever they wanted. I mean, nothing, you do nothing for as long as you want. And you can just be right on the water. So you don't have to stay at a hotel, you don't. Right. So right. that looked like fun. So I think one night there was enough and we enjoyed it. At the Mia. At the Mia. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then we appreciated where we're staying right now. Well, the, the Valentine's, Valentine's very nice. I mean, very the service nice. is great. Let's talk about that a little bit mm -hmm. there. They have um, how many restaurants? Seven to eight restaurants. Yeah. And it's all by uh, like, nations. Like, yeah. So, so what do they have? They last, have last night we did France. French. It was um, really dinner. good. And we had, um, what did you have? I had, I had salmon. Well, I ordered the lobster. They brought me the salmon. And then they were gonna bring me the lobster, and by that time, I mean, I had so much food to eat that before I just said, I don't, I don't need the lobster. That doesn't right. happen very often. Right. But and you I did, was full. You did something that you've never done. You ordered dessert. Yeah, I One, did. Because you wanted the presentation. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty 
flaming hot. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Okay, so they have the French restaurant, they have Italian, we did that. Tonight we're doing... Um, Bocce Grill. Bocce Grill. Um, and, and all of it is you have to semi-dress up. Men have to wear slacks, which not that easy when it's so hot outside, but it wasn't that bad. No, it wasn't bad no. at all, but there were some young people that were... I have to say that now because I'm 55. That's why we're here. Celebrate my 55th birthday. I always thought it was funny that people go to celebrate their birthday somewhere. Now that I'm getting older, I totally get it. We're going to do that every year because the older you get, I don't want to be home. I don't. I don't want a big party anymore. You know. Yeah, I know. That's I know. true. I said no yeah. party, but some young people, probably in their mid 20s, you know, kind of frat guys right. they were really bitching because they had to wear long pants and they were all in Bermuda shorts and they kicked them out well so, it kind of classes the place up a yeah, little bit they, yeah. they have some it, requirements yeah. like that you should bring one pair of slacks wherever you go on vacation it's just note to sell right right and a collared shirt for the guys right but there's one restaurant which is very good we've had breakfast every morning and then if you want dinner there shorts T-shirts. The, the surf and turf. Surf and turf. Right on the water. Yeah, very nice. That's surf. actually one of my favorites. So the food is very good, and the grounds are impeccable. So pretty, so pretty. Lots of critters. So that's another uh, reason why I picked this hotel. My friend Angie told me about it, so I started researching and. It has, I always thought they were monkeys. They're not monkeys. They're, they're like they're a, a cross between a monkey and a raccoon. Right. With a long tail Super that sticks tail. straight up. Yeah. And lots of iguanas. We're still searching. We found some decent sized iguanas. Right. But we're searching for Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. Okay. This is interesting. Everybody asks, have you seen Kevin yet? Uh-huh. And we go, we haven't. We've seen these iguanas that are about this big or something like that. And this is, the first one said, yeah, you got to see Kevin. Yeah. Kevin is five feet long. Right. And then a day or so later, have, have you, you seen, seen Kevin? Kevin? Kevin is six feet long. Okay. <laughs> and then the next night. day, it was seven feet long. <laughs> right. So the legend grows literally about Kevin. Right. So uh, we've we have, been searching we've for been Kevin. We've been searching for Kevin. So Kevin is at least seven feet long. Could be 10, 15, 20 feet by the time, <laughs> by the time we're, we're leaving. <laughs> so Kevin, there, there's a lagoon, uh, a swamp in the middle that we just kind of wonder what's in there. Mm -hmm. What's going to come out? Kevin's oh, in there. Kevin's in there, yeah. and every once in a while, Kevin comes out. Yeah, yeah. So this yeah. place really is very jungle-like, um, and I love that. I think it's cool. It's two levels. Um, some of them are three. Ours is two, and it looks right over the ocean, right. and you just walk right to the beach, like you know. Right. Right. A and we, yards. And we mentioned about the the seaweed, the sargassum, and we're not being sarcastic we, about the sargassum. No. <laughs> and you got yeah, you got kind of mad at me because I'm out taking pictures of what what they're doing and videos of that, but they work very hard at this, and I think every resort pretty much does. But they they move it around. Right. They, they pick it up either with shovels and wheelbarrows uh, or a big front loader and they move it from one end of the beach and they dump it at the other end of the beach. But a few years ago we were down in Akamal because we rented a condo down there which is cool too. You can do that. And they had a ton of seaweed. Now that was horrible because when right. you rent your condo right. there's really nobody to pick it up. You know, it's just going to stink. Um, so we had to go to another beach that day. Um, here, I know we have friends that are staying at the Excellence Hotel, and they said they didn't have barely any seaweed. So it really depends where you're located. It changes all the time. It changes, yeah. And it's been going on for many years now. Right. So chances are you're going to hit some seaweed. Yeah. Now, over in the Isla Mujeres, there was very little over there. There was right. a little bit. Remember when you were eating breakfast? <laughs> I got so okay. pissed at him. Yeah, here's a, here's oh. some, yeah, we're showing that right now. You're eating wow. breakfast, and I knew it was coming behind you. And I'm enjoying myself. Would you like seaweed That's for breakfast? A wheelbarrow comes by there, and, and they pick it up one pot, spot, go around, and then dump it on the other side. Right. So it goes know. in the water and it comes it back. recirculates and comes back doesn't really make sense that means job security for these guys <laughs> so seaweed is good for seaweed the economy in one way uh, in another way maybe it's not because kaba doesn't have this no right. not, not, yet. Yeah. not yet not yet not yet
Yeah, it's coming. Well, some guy said it's coming. the ocean's angry yeah. at us. Yeah. I don't know about that. So we've been walking. You just saw probably a guy walking behind us here. We've been walking the beach, mm -hmm. getting some exercise. And, and, no, it's uh, been great. You know, it's beautiful yeah. here. Lots of swimming pools. In fact, I like laying by the swimming pool. So. No, that's nice. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. But, you know, we see the the animals oh it was you know, like the whatever they call them there the monkey raccoons <laughs> the co they they're, come, co they're, the Cody, they're they're brazen it's like the Cote maroon i think is their name right they are or so the way around, they're not but they're not hostile they're right. just brazen and they're just like they're like raccoons they want food and right. they want they get in i saw one getting into the lady's bag uh -huh. and they were shooing it away and they climbed up to the third floor balcony to get into somebody's balcony to get food right. so they are kind of like monkeys that way right I think I'll get one put it around your neck, a little, um, a shawl, or what do they call that? <laughs> That's yeah. not funny. No. Fur. Okay. They're super cute. Well, Anything you did, else? You did get something yeah. on your neck. Oh, yeah. The, the <laughs> this is funny. So I'm actually, this, I'm taking a picture of this grasshopper, because it really was, and I'm not exaggerating, it was about this big. I put my coffee cup down, and Mark was filming him while I'm putting my coffee cup down, and this literally happened. And he had turned the, the camera off at that point, and it jumped straight. <laughs> Scare you? Is he gone? No. Where is he? <laughs> what? What? Is there something? What? He's huge. What? That's the biggest grasshopper I've ever seen in my life. Jumped right on but your he's, chest. He's gone now? Yeah, he's gone. Oh! I think it wanted to have a little fun with him. Right. Then it took off. Alright. Yeah. So the only thing missing is Kevin. So sure. we've been calling for Kevin every night. Yeah. And, and there was no, so far so good. First of all, I didn't get sick, which is great. And oh, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I've done that in Mexico once. Right. Not fun. Yeah, you had soup. I so did. No soup no for soup you. No soup for you. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> but I, I, we carried on our bags this time, so no bag problems. Yeah, our, our trip to Spain was a disaster with that. You know, people know that you lost your bag. Yeah. Never showed up the whole trip there, so carry on. Of course, it's easy to carry on here. You don't need anything in Mexico. Look at how we're right. dressed. Right. You know, this is it. And then a bathing suit it's, and a couple dresses. In Spain, I had to take my tux, another suit, like four or five pair of shoes because you dress up in our Spain. son's wedding. Mm -hmm. So we had to do the, the yeah. check on. The good thing about this beach is we can do this. <laughs> you know what I'm going with this, right? We can do this. With clothes or clothes? Well, oh, everybody right. has their tops on here. <laughs> yes, yeah. And with like clothes on in Spain, yeah. you don't know what you're going to get on that beach. Oh, yeah. I yeah. loved it. <laughs> really? Not a pretty sight most of the time. Yeah, probably. Okay. Topless? Yeah. Yeah. What were you going to say? pretty good. That's what I was going to say. Oh, we, you're gonna we're say. just sitting here, you know, right. in Spain. Right. Doing oh, that. yeah. We'd have to say, oh, do I have to blur that out? You definitely have. Right. You would. So. <laughs> okay. Anyways. <laughs> All right. We've had fun. Yeah, we've had, we've a, lot had a lot of fun. Now it's back home, and um, yeah, we've had people ask, um, "Are you ever home?" And here's the answer. My answer was yes. I'm home. No, I just say yeah. no. <laughs> no. Try not to be. Another comment on, on Facebook was, uh, "Oh, it must be nice to be a TV news anchor." Yeah. And <laughs> this is I, re I replied, "We have an opening at Channel Eight. Good luck." <laughs> Which is true. Which is true. If you want to do that. If you want a job at Channel 8, they're looking. They're looking. All right. But five days in Mexico to me is plenty. It's never ready to go home. Yeah. I've, we've met so many people that come back to the Valentine five years, ten years, and they, they stay for two weeks. Right. They love it. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and we miss the rain at home. Yeah, we did. We missed the rain. Which we need the rain desperately. So glad it rained. But it's been pouring there. We just had one night here. Yeah. But uh, thank you. Thank yeah. you for thank raining you. while we were away. Yeah, that's good. All right. Really good. I think that's it. Kevin, we're coming to get you. Yeah, let's okay? hope the next time we <laughs> cut this, you'll see Kevin. Or <laughs> 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 they walk like this. We hope you've enjoyed our podcast and thank you for spending your time with us. We'll see you next time for another episode of Let's Talk.